Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is something that feels really incredibly close to my heart and I'm talking about self-worth and in particular body confidence, self-esteem, knowing your damn worth. <laughs> someone who has had to do a freaking lot of this however i found when i was coming to record in this video i was putting it off for some reason and when i dug into the reason of why i was putting off doing it guess what came up freaking self-worth of all things of course so it was something that i really wanted to dive into i put a post out on my instagram talking about confidence in terms of my own body and as a health and fitness professional who has not got the, you know, gym bunny ideal sculpted body and how that's affected my own self-worth and my confidence in to be able to teach and share what I share with the world. Because I got such a huge response from this topic over on my recent Instagram post, I thought, I've got to do a video about this. I've got to talk about this more. So can you just give me, let me know in the comments or just hit the thumbs up button to let me know if you have ever, ever doubted your worth because of the way your body looks. Have you ever felt embarrassed about the way that your body looks? I think back to my own experience, like how much of my life have I wasted hating the way that my body looks? And this is the thing, you can't hate yourself into improving your body confidence. It just doesn't work. Believe me, I have tried. And I was literally, I was looking back at some old pictures and I just remember thinking at the time, I still wasn't happy with how my body was, but yet when I look back now, I think, damn, I would freaking love to look like that right now. So it comes down to having that element of a little bit of compassion with ourselves. We need to be a little bit kinder with ourselves and practice what we call self-love and it sounds very woo-woo and I know when I watch people talk about self-love and you're just like love you are this beautiful young perky tits flat belly you can tell me all you want about self-love but you ain't got the love handles that I've got and this is you know for me and even putting out this video as you can see now on the screen I have got a flabby, squishy, stretch marks, love handles tummy. I have always had an element of that and now it is probably the way that it is always going to be. And don't get me wrong, I am the first person that will tell you to eat healthy, to exercise. I practice and I preach these things, yet I also know that I'm incredibly strong, I am fit, I am healthy, I also really enjoy food, I like to be relaxed with my eating, I like to have dessert, I like to have a drink at the weekend and no matter of shaming or hating on myself is going to change how my body looks, all that it is doing is it zaps the joy from my life. So this is some of the work that I have done over the years and I finally feel that I've got to a space of acceptance. Yes, I will still continue to work and want to be healthier and always work on that element, but I also know that I don't want that to consume my entire life also. And the reason that I wanted to speak out on this is because I see so many people zapping the joy, the energy, the happiness from their lives because of the way that their body looks. So I wanted to give you three exercises that you can practice, really simple exercises that you can do. I am a huge 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 fan of journaling journaling has absolutely transformed my life it has been a big part of helping me to improve my confidence to achieve more to go after the life that i want and i wanted to share with you today just three simple exercises that you can start to practice into developing your own self-acceptance I have really worked to come to accept my body for what it is, the tubby, squishy, jiggly belly. You know, there was a time last summer when I went to the swimming pool for the first time in a very long time in a two-piece. Did I feel fully confident? Mm, 
not quite there yet, but I felt proud of myself for going. And even when my child, as we were queuing up to go down the slide at the swimming pool, was like in my belly. Um, but I find that knowing that how my body looks does not affect my worth. And that is a huge thing when I say that to myself, I feel my shoulders drop. I feel everything start to relax and I feel those moments of joy and happiness. And that's what I want to help people to create more of. So if you have ever felt that embarrassment, if you felt shame, if you felt sadness, if you felt angry or frustrated with your body, I would love, love, love for you to try out these very simple exercises that you can do with just a pen and paper journaling has been such a transformational tool for me personally it's something that i teach and something that i work on with my coaching clients it has had a massive monumental shift in my own life so if you're new to journaling we've just had a big crash of thunder outside if you're new to journaling all you need to do is grab a pen and paper a notebook um if you'd like to learn more about journaling or take any of this work deep then this is what i teach within my shine squad exclusive membership group but for now i would love to get you started with just these three questions so let's get because i truly believe that having a healthy relationship with yourself is the standard for just allowing you to create more happiness in your life and having that element of real self-acceptance. So let's get started with these three questions. So question number one is what could be possible if I believed that I was enough? Write down your answer to that. So it could be something in your career. It could be something to do with relationships. Relationships is a huge one and sex with a partner when you feel like you're not enough is huge. Again, something that's cropped up with me and my own relationship and my own personal experience. What could it be in your career? If you felt that you were enough within your body and didn't have to... <laughs> didn't have to restrict and exercise yourself to death what if you could just eat healthy foods and enjoy doing it if you could move your body so that you feel good how awesome could life be if you could allow yourself to just find the joy in nurturing and taking care of your body instead of having to punish it for it being wrong and now i've got dog down here getting her nose up so write down everything that comes to mind within your confidence, within how you show up. Who is the person? How would you feel as you showed up if you felt like you were enough? Pause the video, write it all down. Just get it all out onto paper. It doesn't have to be edited. It doesn't have to be spelled correctly. That's not the purpose of this. We have to allow ourselves to be able to express things. And sometimes things will come up and you won't even realize where that came from. But that's the part of the healing process and getting that connection and deeper knowing of yourself. Exercise number two is something I actually recently did with, again with my Shine Squad members and we did this in the form of like a vision board but what I want you to do is to make a list of what we call our badass moments. So recognising your moments of badassery. So the way that I like to do this is I went through my Facebook feed and I scrolled back all of my pictures. So think about whatever social media channel that you use where you record the most things. So probably Facebook or Instagram, although for me, Instagram didn't go back far enough because that's how old I am. So I use Facebook and scrolled back for years and years and years and identified, really pulled up all of the moments where I'm like, yeah, I felt like a badass. Look at what I accomplished. Look what I managed to achieve. So it should be could be, you know, maybe you did a fitness event, maybe you ran a race, maybe it was giving birth to your kids. For me, a huge one was opening my businesses and my studio. So many different achievements. And that is the reminder when you get that emotional connection to the things that you have managed to achieve, that is going to help you to build on your self-worth, your self-confidence and knowing yourself. It's a reminder of the things that you get to be proud of that you have created in your life. So again, this might take a little bit of time. So get out your notebook, go and have a scroll through or do the exercise after you've watched this video. But most importantly, go and do it. You get 
to remind yourself of the badass that you are and all of the things that you have come to achieve and created within your life because you did that shizzle and you should be damn proud of it. And number three is some additional questions. So this is about getting to know you on a deeper level. So I, you could actually really do this with kids as well. I think it's quite a nice one to do to just get that connection, to know your values, what's important to you, and to just ponder these questions. So let's get into it. Knowing you, your deeper questions. Number one is, I'm really happy when. Fill in the space. What are the things that make you really happy? How can you create more happiness in your life if you don't clearly know the things that make you happy? It could be something so simple. For me, something that really makes me happy is being outside in nature, having alone time, having uh, being able to go out and run, spend time with my kids and family. Write down as many things as you can. Identify all of the things that bring joy, happiness, peace to your heart and soul and just make your heart sing. Oh, go with that. I love, love, love doing this. <laughs> be Number two, something I like about myself is... For anybody who struggles with low self-worth, this can feel really tough. Take a little bit of space with it, go with it. Even if it's just like, I like my shoulders, I like my eyes, I like my hair, whatever it is, you find something. It might be something within your personality that you like. Maybe you give so much to other people. Maybe you're so generous. Find the things within yourself that you like because it all starts with you. And we have to start to like ourselves first. And when we like and love ourselves more, we give less of a shit of what other people think about us. Number three, I'm really freaking good at what are your strengths? What are you really good at? What can you do that other people find hard? And then the final one, number four, something that makes me unique is... I really hope that you will take the time to work through these questions, to get some ideas down onto paper and start to get to know yourself, to develop what is already within you and just to remind yourself of who the fuck you are because there is so much greatness already within you and the time is now for you to stop hating on yourself, to stop the struggle and start to find more joy and happiness within your life. So let me know what came up for you. And of course, if you want to get deeper into this work, if you're like, yeah, give me some more of that. I'm feeling fired up. I'm feeling ready right now. Then I'm going to put the link down below to find out more details about the Shine Squad, which is my exclusive membership where we do this deeper coaching work on a month by month basis with a group of incredible women who are all there to support each other and getting more trainings just like this one to help you develop your mindset, to help you improve your health and to help you to become the badass goal getter that you were born to be beautiful. Until next time. Hey.